Hello students, as we all know that uh, testosterone is a principal androgen in men. In today's video, we will try to understand uh, regulation of uh, testosterone uh, secretion in the males. We will also discuss hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis and also discuss the role of uh, negative feedback loop that controls the secretion of uh, testosterone from the testes. Now, very important. Uh, here stimulation and increased release of hormones is depicted by the green arrows while inhibition and reduced release of uh, hormones is depicted by the uh, red arrows. Now look at this diagram. This diagram shows hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis. Now this diagram depicts hormonal interrelationship between hypothalamus anterior pituitary and the testes. Now, hypothalamus produces gonadotropin releasing hormone which stimulates anterior pituitary to release gonadotropins namely luteinizing hormone that is LH and follicle stimulating hormone that is FSH. Now, gonadotropin releasing hormone is discharged in a pulsatile manner every 90 to 120 minutes which causes in turn pulsatile secretion of LH as well as FSH from anterior pituitary. Now, follicle stimulating hormone is mainly responsible for stimulating the process of spermatogenesis in the Sertoli cells. Now, spermatogenesis is the process of production and maturation of sperms and testosterone is required for the process of spermatogenesis. Now, these Sertoli cells are located in the testicular seminiferous tubules and these Sertoli cells, they produce a protein called as inhibin. Now, whenever the levels of FSH rise in the blood, inhibin which is secreted by the Sertoli cells inhibit anterior pituitary and that causes fall in the level of FSH. So, rise in the level of FSH causes release in uh, release of inhibin by Sertoli cells and inhibin inhibits anterior pituitary which causes fall in the level of FSH. So, this loop which is depicted here in the red color. Uh, is the inhibitory loop. Now, apart from this LH, uh, which is uh, uh, produced again by the anterior pituitary luteinizing hormone, this stimulates leading cells of testes to secrete the male principal hormone that is testosterone. Now, increase in the level of testosterone in the blood inhibits the release of gonadotropin releasing hormone from hypothalamus. And when, when uh, there is a fall in the release of uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone, this causes fall in the secretion of testosterone. Now, apart from this, increase in the secretion or increase in the levels of testosterone in the blood also inhibits release of luteinizing hormone from anterior pituitary. Again, fall in the secretion of luteinizing hormone results in the fall in the level of testosterone. So whenever the levels of testosterone rise in the blood, this causes inhibition of the release of uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone and this also causes reduced secretion of LH which reduces the levels of testosterone. So this loop is called as a negative feedback loop. Now, apart from this uh, cytochrome P450 aromatase enzyme in the testes, liver and adipose tissue converts around 0.2% of testosterone to astradiol. Now, astradiol is a very potent inhibitor of gonadotropin secretion and plays a very important role in the feedback inhibition. Now, rise in the levels of astradiol, rise in the levels of astradiol inhibits release of gonadotropin releasing hormone from hypothalamus and the fall in the levels of gonadotropin releasing hormone from hypothalamus causes fall in the level of testosterone. Apart from this, increase in the level of uh, astradiol in the, in the blood also inhibits anterior pituitary and this causes fall in the secretion of LH and reduced secretion of, F of LH also reduces uh, the level of testosterone in the in the blood. So this is how uh, the levels of uh, testosterone uh, are regulated by hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis and the negative feedback loop. Now if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video. 
Thanks for watching this video.